We're here in central New Brunswick. We're collaring moose for a long-term study on uh, the effects of winter tick on moose calves. There can be up to 100,000 of these critters on a moose. So when they come on in the fall, they're tiny, the size of a, a pinhead. And by April, they're the size of your top of your, of your little finger. And with uh, 50 or 60,000 of these on you, they're literally sucking the blood out of the calf moose who, who really can't take it. Not enough body mass, not enough blood, and it succumbs to uh, blood loss. So this is a big project. Um, it involves four capture sites in Quebec, and uh, we're the southernmost one in New Brunswick for a total of five. And over the course of the five-year experiment, uh, we'll have close to 500 collar captures and recaptures. As far as partners go, uh, our major partners are the University of Laval, uh, University of New Brunswick, the uh, Quebec Provincial Government, and of course J.D. Irving Limited. And in Quebec there's a number of other uh, partners associated with the project. The impact I hope to make with my work will be to identify the variables that are negatively affecting the moose movement. Uh, to identify whether it's only ticks, or if it's land cover composition and climate as well. Are we making the landscape more friendly to ticks uh, by our forest management practices? And if we are, how can we change those to, uh, to prevent that? The main task for us this week uh, is to capture the animals. First, we capture them with the net gun. We throw a net from a low flying helicopters. After that, we sedated the, the animals. We are doing some measurement, blood sample, air samples. We even weight all these calves before fitting them with a collar. So we have plenty of biological data on these, on these uh, moose calves. The process is very quick. We have protocols. We monitor temperature and things like that, heartbeat, oxygen, and make sure the moose is being well taken care of while it's uh, sedated. And as soon as the work is done, uh, we inject it with a reversal drug and literally within a couple of minutes the moose is up and running away to join mom. This girl is uh, waiting for the uh, reversal effects to, uh, to take its action. We have uh, just about two minutes ago gave her a reversal and in, in about two minutes she will be up and running like uh, if nothing had happened. It's always a happy uh, sight to see the, uh, the moose calf running away and trying to find a, a mother. Normally within hours or even minutes in some, some location, they can uh, join together. We consider the animals as one of our stakeholders. You know, there's uh, folks in the rural communities, there's folks that like to hunt and fish and things like that. Uh, and the animals themselves are sort of a silent uh, stakeholder in this and, and our research gives them a voice. You know, it's just one of the things you have to do as a large landowner. It's your responsibility to look after the animals. <laughs>